Let's go, girls. Hi, my name is Makassi, and today we're, we have a jacket that I'm learning to love more and more. The more day that I've owned them, the more time that I've spent with them. But I had a very um, underwhelming first impression. So the jacket that we have today is called the Rick Owens Long Hair Strobe Outer Shirt in Black. So Rick Owen and the team view this jacket as an outer shirt. I see this more as like a jacket because it's very thick and it's shaped like a jacket, you know. I know it's shaped like an outer shirt too, but with the way, it's just how I classify them in my head. You know how like when you ask someone to imagine what a knife looks like, some people might imagine a longer knife, a shorter knife, or you know, something even longer. And also Essence, Essence agree with me. They they label this as a jacket. A lot of the time, a lot of the time I like my expensive product to be unique, to be a bit more out there. I don't want it to look like something that you can get elsewhere from H&M, Zara, whatever. However, I do have a soft spot for mundane looking things that are very, very well made because these garments aren't the most exciting garments because, you know, their shapes are rather pedestrian or it's their material. So for example, my and the Milamisa jacket, it just, it's a very well made jacket. There's nothing special about the shape or the material, just it's a very well, well made jacket. But with this jacket that we're talking about today, the Ragoans, the standout part is the material because this has calf hair on it. And I'm sure you saw my other video where I explained further or like more in depth about pony hair or calf on hides, calf, cow, cow, cow fur, whatever, you know. You saw my other video. If you, if you haven't, I'll link it right here and down in the description below. And this jacket, it has lamb leather trimming, which is something that I love. So this jacket was sadly not on the runway because it wasn't that excited enough for Rick Owens and the team, but they were excited to put on this terrible, terrible looking vest that Machine Gun Kelly ruined. My nickname is Mr. Pink. I think Thank I you. have to go to... So the first detail that I would like to talk about is, is um, the fog pockets and um, it has vertical opening and internal snap. It's right up here. I'm sure you're looking at the B-roll. And um, I want to talk about the pocket first because it's kind of like the first thing you notice. Well, maybe not the first. Maybe the material is the first thing you notice. The cow first. Let's say, let's say second. So when I first saw this online, I thought it was just like a design, but then I saw a photo of the model putting their hands into it. Then I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool detail because I thought they just didn't include any pockets because there are two versions of this jacket. There are the normal version with no pockets and then there are this, there's this version with the fog pockets. The, these outer shirts or jackets, we're going to call it jackets from now on. Um, they're part of a stable collection. So season after season, you will see them whether it's in different material or slightly different shape. I obviously got the version with the fog pocket and I don't quite love it, love it. It's it's new, yes, it's, it's very unique, but I just love the prototypical normal pockets. Like, I just love it. Just It's so formal to me. There's an elegance to the formality of it. Whereas the fog pocket is more experimental, so it could be like a trend thing. It, it's not a tried and true. You know, I didn't like it at first, but after playing it for a while, I just, I, I really like the conveniency that it offers me because, you know, it's just human nature to not like change, you know, especially change that you initially didn't think needed to change. I also love how deep it is and the shape of the pocket, which hopefully I can draw right now. So it's very useful and practical, I feel very secure and on top of that it has a small button closure but it's very small and it's kind of hard to use because there are just so much fur around there so like it you have to like clear the path first to snap it close i kind of love how the pockets are hidden because you know there there's no indicator at all as to whether this is a pocket or not unless somebody put their hands through them so i'm learning to appreciate it more you know when i wear it on it's new and I'm learning to like it. Hopefully my feeling towards it doesn't change, but for now I really do like it and I really like how convenient and how unique it is. It also has two interior pockets and I love, I love Rick Owens interior pocket. It just, it makes me feel so much more secure because if I have money to go put in the bank, if I put my AirPod or my phone, I would much prefer to put it in my interior pocket because the exterior pocket, no matter how secure it is, it just, it won't, 
put my mind at ease because I have anxiety. So I constantly tap my pocket just to make sure everything is still here. So I tap it a bit less when I know it's internal and it has the zipper. So it just it feels very good. Though I do wish they did put, I wish they had put two more interior pocket up here. But you know how most blazer have like two pockets up here, just it's very convenient and I will show you what you can put in the pockets right now All right, so let's talk about the shape. So it's a very standardized looking jacket. However, the body is a bit longer than the sleeve. So the jacket goes down to like your hip area, a bit past your waist. I'm not that big a fan of it because, you know, I'm more of a crop person and the sleeves are like the same length as the body, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I can get past it. It's tough, you know, but I can get past it. It's like third world problem, you know, like life or death situation, but I will, I will persevere. I will get through this. With your prayer, I will get through this. Um, there is a crop version of this jacket, but it's a bit different. It's called the Alice jacket. So this is my jacket. This is the Alice jacket. It's literally the same thing, but this one is just cropped, which I love. And I think that's my next purchase, hopefully, if I can catch it in the sale. But yeah, I think, I think that could be my perfect black jacket that I've been searching in the thrift for a while but can never find because it's just so hard to find black leather jackets in the thrift. I have found a lot of like suede colors one but I want a black leather jacket. That's what I want. Another subtle detail that I want to talk about is um, Rick Owens. He's very into architecture and you can kind of see that in this jacket because okay so it's a bit hard to see on this jacket, so I'll show you the Alice jacket and then you can see the drawing. So I'll, I'll find a way to show you the beautiful lines that you see throughout the jacket. Okay, next up, I want to talk about the side slit. So um, it just, it makes for an easier sitting experience because it divides the garment into two, not like, you know, like, but it's like concave. So like, it just sitting is a lot easier. You know how like when you wear long coats, they have a slit in the back? Similar concept when you split the jacket in two, it just, it's easier when you sit and it doesn't bunch up. So this is just a very thoughtful design. You know, most people won't notice it, but for people who are passionate about it, like you will appreciate a lot of these little details, but it makes a huge, huge difference to like someone like me who is very passionate about clothes and trying to find all the little detail. So. When you sit in this jacket, it's a lot more comfortable when you sit with a jacket that doesn't have the concave or side slit. Okay, so the sleeve. So I love the extra, extra long sleeve on this. It covers like my entire arms and it's, just, it's fun to be in it. But the body is also longer, so you can't really tell. I love this jacket more than my Klaus jacket with the under armpit situation because this is a very standardized or yeah, can, can we say standard? standard whereas the klaus jacket is like a high cut on the under armpit it looks better but it's not as comfortable so let me show you a side by side of how easy it is to put this jacket on than my klaus jacket because of the armpit so it fits it fits like a regular jacket whereas the klaus jacket it just it's uh, they have a higher armpit so it's a bit harder next up let's talk about the lining the lining on this jacket i'm not a fan it's 100 percent cotton and it feels and look very cheap. So right now I should show you Cupro lining versus the 100% cotton lining. You can kind of tell and when you do own it, I mean, I'm hoping you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, go to your local mall, try on some leather jacket. Someone will have Cupro and you can feel it. it it's, and you can also see it. it's a bit shinier. Whereas the 100% cotton, it's like matted out. So. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Cupro. Cupro is a lot better on the body and just it looks so much more 
luxurious and it just it feels better so the body lining is 100 percent cotton however the lining on the sleeves are 100 percent cupro which is the superior lining and you can see and feel the difference i'm i'm, I'm repeating myself but let's give me what else um the tip the tip of the sleeves i wish the fur at the tip of the sleeve were to be a bit longer my clouds jacket it extends a bit further maybe that's because the the fur is a bit longer the fur on this jacket is not that long we'll talk more about it in a second but um the sleeve it it, it has one button closure which i'm not a fan of i wish it had multiple because it is a bit tight when you close it and I like my cuffs to be a bit loose. I don't think I'm ever gonna close this button for any reason, but it just I would like the option because I like it when my jacket is just open. So it just it's a lot better. It feels a lot better. When it's closed up, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of how it looks or how it feels. The trimming. I love the lamb leather trimming. I am I'm very, very aware of my arm. So I feel everything that touches my arm. So for example, I, I can wear I can wear any pants with any fabric without any lining because I don't consciously think about my bottom halves of my body, but with my arms, like I feel all of it. It just my arms are a bit more sensitive. So tactilely speaking, is that a word? Ta tactile, you know, like touches. I feel a lot more with my upper bodies than my lower body. So I love that it has a leather trimming because when you play with your arm you know just you feel the leather trimming and it just it's so soft it's so supple compared to calf the calf leather is a bit more matted the lamb is a bit more shiny and it feels a bit more plasticky but like in a good way the neck detail has the lamb leather trimming and the body as well but the arms i feel that the most and i really like that i'm really i'm really falling in love with lamb leather trimming or just lamb leather in general it just it feels a lot better and i think I think I don't like calf leather that much because cows is just more prevalent whereas the lamb leather is just lamb or sheep is just in my in my head it's like more rare so I I put more stock into that calf is just like normal peasant you know lamb leather is like for kings queen and princesses um the collared I love this collar. It just it's a very standard looking collar. It's classic. It's tried it true and tried, tried and true. It's tried and true. So it just it's timeless. There's hair on my neck. And overall I just think it's a very anti-trend because I look at the bomber collar as like a very trendy thing because in my head, like I can today I can love the bomber collar and then tomorrow I can like that looks so stupid because I just like this classic color better and some people may say it's a bit more boring but I just think it's classic it it works okay so this is something that I don't really like the press start closure so I don't like it because it just it's a hassle to press it against my body it's just, it's harder for me because it, just, it takes so much more effort than to just like I can button it up faster than I can press close it yeah it just i'm not a big fan and what i do love though is that it's silver the color so it makes the jacket pop a little bit i think if these buttons were to be black the jacket would be a bit more boring but i like the fact that rick's really love um silver color like small detail on his garments like for example this jacket it has a silver <laughs> excuse me for this jacket, all the detailings are silver, all the zippers, so I really like that. Perfect, beautiful buttons or beautiful colors. And on the back, it has the signature Rick Owens rib or webbing, the yoke, the back yoke. I think that's what they're called, the back yoke. It's very practical because, you know, sometimes you go from one place that it's warm and cold. So like, let's say it's winter, you're walking outside and then you get in the car and it's super hot. So then like, you want to take it off. Let's use train. You're walking to the train station, it's very cool, but then when you get into the train, it's very hot. You can take it off and just carry it on your shoulder. It's also a bit of like an indicator of like a Rick Owens piece without like putting logo, similar to his um, cream drawstring or Gray's drawstring. It just, there's no logo, but you know that's a Rick Owens piece. But yeah, it just, it's a, it's a more thoughtful way to let you know or to let people know that's like, hey, this is a Rick Owens piece without like putting a Rick Owens logo. Yes, there are times where you want a logo on your garment. I do notice that I have become a bit more judgy to people who wear a logo and I need to stop that because I need to realize that, you know, people are different. People have different tastes. Only in the morning. I'm mostly very, very judgmental in the morning. So 
when I first wake up, when I go on Instagram, I just, I hate everything I see. Lately, I've been staying on my Pinterest more because it's a bit better at catering to what I like to see. But yeah, Pinterest is more pleasing. But anyway, you know, lovely, lovely little detail at the back yoke. And um, with this jacket, it does not have, it doesn't have the usual Rick Owens logo, the two lines. It has this logo instead. Most of Rick Owens, or if not all of it, all of Rick Owens leather goods are made in Moldova. I did, I what I've been doing lately with my YouTube channel is I've been making um, videos about how like different footwear looks with different trousers. So the interaction between the two, the footwear and the trouser, they're very important. But I also think the interaction between the tops and the bottoms are also important. So here's just a little b-roll of what this jacket looked like with different trousers. And now I will show you what this jacket looks like with a hoodie underneath or a sweater underneath. gotten to my favorite part of any video I love talking about material I can go all day so this is pony hair or cow fur or hair on calf hair on hides beautiful beautiful material and again I made another video talking very very in-depth about it I do love this material however I don't like how matted out this one looks because let me show you side by side so the hair on this jacket is a bit shorter and the hair on my Klaus jacket is a bit longer do you see it do you see the difference? It it makes a huge difference in my head. Maybe not to you because you don't have it in front of you, but to me, it makes a huge difference. And I think my friend Swan is kind of right because he has the Gethsemane jacket, the Grinch jacket. It has longer hair, but my Klaus, I believe, also has longer hair, at least longer than this jacket we're talking about today. And I also think the quality of the fur on the Klaus jacket is far, far superior to the quality on this jacket. It could just be a bias because I like my Klaus jacket and it, I think it also could be a bias because the Klaus jacket, it's a colored material whereas the this garment right here that we're talking about, it's black so it's like it blends in more whereas the Klaus, it stands out more. Again, the lining, the lamb leather lining, I love it. I love lamb leather so much. Compared to my calf leather lining or trimming, trimming I mean not lining, trimming, I'm so sorry. The trimming, the lamb leather. I love lamb leather. I wish, I wish the whole neck area was just lamb leather. Like I said earlier, I feel a lot more on my upper body than my lower body. So with my neck, the cow fur isn't inherently itchy, but my neck area is very itchy. Like I'm the type of person, if there's like a loose hair so just, on my neck, timeless. I, it will it's annoy the shit out of me the whole day until I take it out. So it's like, and now you're introducing a whole cow fur neck detail so it bothers me a little bit when it hits me from the wrong angle so i really wish the whole neck was just lamb leather i think that would have been nice but it's really just it's a my problem it's not like most people's problems are like how i have flat feet and most people don't have flat feet they cater to the majority i'm in the minority you know but lamb leather i really really like lamb leather i think my next leather jacket i would like to be lamb if i can choose Actually, if I could choose, I would love to have a python because I just love the texture of the python. But if you were to ask me calf or lamb, 100% lamb without a second thought. One of the details that I noticed while I was doing my unboxing video and just like reading the little tag that came along with it, this jacket is slightly padded with polyester and you can kind of tell because it's, it's very heavy. But I thought that was just like because of the cow fur and leather, but it is filled with polyester filling because I think this is a fall winter piece. So, you know, it's intended to wear in the winter and you can definitely wear this in the winter, but just you can probably get away with a hoodie underneath. 
and you probably don't need a down jacket it just this jacket is so heavy and it's so thick with you know the cow fur the calf leather and then the polyester filling it's going to be very very insulated so in the winter this is going to be a great piece i've been wearing it right now and right now it's spring it's doing pretty good because you know in the springtime it's still fairly cold so i've just been wearing this jacket with just like a t-shirt underneath and it does the job on like a cold spring day when it's like 30 40 degrees it works really well but in like a couple weeks i don't think i can wear this jacket anymore because it gets very very hot very fast okay so on the screen right now you should be seeing the measurement okay the fit so it fits me perfectly i think i think i could have gotten away with a size 50 or size 48 oh i forgot i, I don't know if i mentioned it yet but the jacket you're looking at it's a size 52 which is an extra large and i normally wear large or extra large with my outerwear and it fits me perfectly because there's no tightness underneath the armpit like my Klaus jacket so I truly think I could have gotten away with a medium or a large and it is a standard fit like do I wish it was do I wish it fits more like my body jacket yes but there is a beauty in the longer body because that's just more fabric that you get for this jacket you know it's like you know how like let me show you what Bodhi charge for a short sleeve and what Bodhi charge for a long sleeve. They charge you like an extra $40, $50 because of the long sleeve. So you get more material, that's their argument. So you don't get more fabric, you get more money for your buck. Money for the, you get more material for your money. So it's good, it's fine, you know. You're making Rick Owen the work for your, pro, for your money. I do see this piece as like a casual wear because you know, this is not a Klaus jacket. So like a standout piece it's just very casual very standardized looking jacket so it's just good for an everyday wear i think it could be a good layering piece like if you were to wear this and then a long coat in the winter but you can also stuff a hoodie or a knitwear underneath and you can get away just look casual in the winter but if you want a more professional or chic look a t-shirt this jacket a long coat in the winter put a scarf around your neck you should be you should be grand. You should be grand. I've been watching a lot of Dairy Girl. It's called a hangover, Claire. You'll be grand. If we were to talk about this jacket aesthetically with the longer body, I think aesthetically it doesn't look that great. Thigh length jacket versus a jacket that goes down to your knees. The thigh length, it's like in a nose man, no man's land. So it doesn't look that good to me, but that's just my opinion and my preference. So I do wish this fit more like my body jacket, but I'm not... I'll live, you know, I'll survive. It's not a big deal. But with this jacket, you know, I don't have to always wear it with high rise trouser because, you know, it covers like down to my thighs. I think I just find cropped hoodie to complement my body better. This makes me look shorter and I'm 5'10, 5'11, so I need every inch that I have. Okay, so this jacket retails for $3,640 very pricey you know i can certainly give you the prototypical argument to justify the price tag with the supply chain accounting the store the wholesale employees um premium for the sake of being premium because you know they kind of trap themselves to the title of high fashion so even if they want to price their item cheaper they can't because they have to uphold their brand name because you know if you price this item for a thousand dollars and then every other jacket's three thousand it just gonna look weird and people are gonna be like did they lower the quality on this so they kind of trap themselves to price it that way you know but the market the market sets the price and you know we also set the price the the consumer so if people are willing to pay three thousand dollars for it why would you price it down a thousand you know that's just losing money it's not good for business but it's not worth it it's not worth it for three thousand at all but you can certainly justify it with the material but yeah, it's not worth it for three thousand dollars three thousand six hundred and forty dollars i got it on sale for slightly less but with my youtube code of conduct i can't tell you the price so just know that i got it slightly less but if you are the type of people who are impressed with the, the high price act then yes yes i did i paid three thousand six hundred and forty dollars for this jacket but if you're a frugal person dude why would i pay three thousand dollars do you think i'm stupid with my money Obviously not. Obviously, I got it on a deep, deep sale. I got this shit by two hundred dollars. Okay, I would never pay three thousand dollars for a jacket. Who do you think I am? Come on, I'm a lot smarter than that. But you know, is this jacket? This jacket is within my budget, and 
it might not be to you it might it might seem cheap to you it might seem expensive to you so perspective perspective matters when it comes to budget you know a poor person will view mcdonald's cheap and view let's say cheesecake factory as like somewhat expensive and a middle class person will view cheesecake factory being you know the lower end and then they will look at the four star five star restaurant as expensive and i don't know if i'm gonna film a styling video for it, a styling segment for it but just know you know black boots crocs black trousers a black t-shirt and this jacket so it, it's a very standard looking jacket it's not like something i'm excited to go out and wear it like if i were to wear this jacket or if i were to wear my clouds jacket i'd be super super excited and amped up to wear it out you know because it's exciting but with this jacket it's like okay let's put it out i can feel good about myself the jacket fits nicely the material is awesome if people come close to me they can come look at it and then you know struck up a conversation You're like dude what's going on with your material is that cow fur then we can talk but you know it just it's a very mundane looking jacket despite the material i hope that makes sense but yeah i just see this piece like an everyday piece so i'm just gonna throw it on when i when I just get out of the house, if I'm going grocery shopping real quick, I'll just throw it on because I like the pockets. Calvert is supposedly very good against water. That's what my research has confirmed, but this jacket is quite expensive. And I think I am planning on selling it because I'm not in love in love with it. So I'm going to skip the water test for now because I want to respect the people that's going to buy it off me. So, but in <laughs> Maybe if I were to wear it one day and it rained, I will feel myself, but let's not put unnecessary damage on my garments. Okay, so my body jacket is also very standardized looking, but the patterns, the quilt, the patches, the embroidery, they make the body jacket stand out. It's a bit more dynamic, it's a bit more lively, and just more whimsical. Very Wes Anderson. And this jacket that we're talking about today, it's it doesn't have any of that. It's, just, it's a very plain looking jacket because the only thing that this jacket has going for it is the exotic material, which is the cow fur or cow fur on cap. But the color, the, the color black kind of dampened the mood a bit because from afar, you can't really see that it's cow fur. You got to be a bit up close to see that it's cow fur, but that's okay. You know, you wear your clothes for yourself. You don't wear it for other people to notice. Blah, 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 blah. It's a nice jacket. It's a very standard looking jacket, but the material makes it stand out. But not stand out, stand out. I do I do like the side slits a lot, make it makes sitting a lot easier. And this jacket is also very structured. It's very hard to fold and it will look like crumble up when you sit down. And um next up that I want to talk about is the neck cow fur lining. It's not itchy but it's not not itchy. At a certain angle, at the wrong angle, it will itch my neck because I just have very sensitive upper body, so loose hair, my own so hair, just, it's that timeless. just fall down and touch my neck, it bothers me. So imagine a neck full of hair that's not mine. So the, the cow fur, it's not itchy on my body, but when I bring it up to touch my face, it, it's a bit itchy, but maybe because it's allergy season, but my face just... My face is very sensitive to like anything that touches it. So even with wool or cashmere, like it's not, it doesn't itch my body. But when I bring it up to scratch my nose, scratch my face, it's itchy. So it's not the fault of the jacket. It's just, it's the fault of my face. It just, it's very sensitive. I just wish the neck detailing would have been um, lamb leather, the whole thing. I talked about it already. So um, what's the next? So the jacket, it's very structured. And if you want to put your hands into the pocket, it, you have to cuff it up because you can't really fit that into the pocket because it just it's so stiff and it's so thick and it's a lot so you have to cuff it up if you want to put your hands into your pants pocket or the jacket pocket so i've been wearing this jacket a lot and the weather right now is kind of cold-ish but not like you need a down jacket cold so it's been very good so it's a bit padded which is good and you know this works really well with the current weather which is about like 35 to 60 just fluctuates here and there but I think 10 20 degrees down you would need to put a hoodie underneath or a knitwear underneath but it just it's a very solid solid jacket for a slightly colder day but not like when it's like you know seven degrees out oh also a quick note I think I think this jacket looks better with a hoodie underneath than my Bodhi jacket with a hoodie underneath I'll put it side by side right now
yeah, this jacket does surprisingly well in the winter, in the weather, in the cold weather. But it shouldn't be surprising, you know. It's it's polyester padded, the cow fur, the calf leather. It just, yeah, I guess I guess it shouldn't surprise me that this jacket is has done remarkably well against the cold weather. Remarkably well against the cold weather. I cannot speak. I need water. But this video is almost over, so we'll drink in a second. My initial fear kind of came true, which is that you can't really see that this is a cow fur because of it's black. Rick did release this jacket in a pink and a green. I think you can see the cow fur better on those color, but this is... I do like the black one. Like, okay, if you were to ask me, would you get the pink one or the black one? I would honestly pick the black one because it's more wearable. The pink one is a bit too loud. The black one, I can wear it with everything. I can wear it all the time without thinking. Like, you know, sometimes when you wear color, you kind of have to like set your mind to it because it's just so loud. But with the black, you just put it on and you can forget about it. it just, it's, it's very simple. And if I want to stand out in with my cow fur, I will wear my Klaus jacket. But when I want an everyday type of thing, I will wear this jacket. So yeah, I guess maybe I should keep both. Maybe I shouldn't sell. I'll, I'll think about it. It's not something I love, love, but it's still a nice jacket. And it just, it's very fun to wear because I just love the material. I've, I've had very, very good experience with cow fur. So yeah, I think, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll put it up on Grail and just like see what kind of offer I get, but if I sell it, great. If I don't, not the end of the world. I like wearing the jacket, so it's not a problem at all. And one of my gripe, one of my gripe with this jacket is for the life of me, I cannot close the upper button. My neck is so fat, I cannot close the upper button. So yeah, it just it's a me problem. Uh, and something that I love about this jacket is I love, I love how heavy this jacket is and. If it were to be a bit lighter, I would think of this jacket more as like an outer shirt, but due to its thickness, it's a jacket. It's a jacket. Essence agree with me, it's a jacket. Yeah. The fog pocket. I'm learning, I'm learning to love it. It is unique, it is very functional. And yeah, I think that's all you can say about pockets. Are we overanalyzing the pockets a little bit? It is new, but but then again, this whole video is about me overanalyzing. Like this video is like what 20 something odd minute already. So something that I don't like about this jacket is um there's no pockets at the bottom like my body jacket. I really like that to just put my hands in there. So that is a big disadvantage. So if I were to look at this jacket and my body jacket, I think I would always choose my body jacket because of those pockets. Because I put my hands in there a lot. I don't know why, but. I still don't agree with the naming of this as an outer shirt or the category it falls under. It's a jacket, it's not an outer shirt. Okay, one of the main flaws about this jacket, it sheds like crazy. There are just black hair everywhere. I don't know if it's my hair, uh, excuse me. I don't know if it's my hair or the hair of the jacket, but it just, it sheds like crazy. My clothes doesn't shed as much because I think because, okay, this jacket is a lot more densely packed than my Klaus jacket, there's just more fur, but it's shorter. But it's more fur, so like, there's more fur coming off of this jacket than my Klaus jacket. So it just, every time I wear it, there's like black fur everywhere, on the ground, on my shirt, it's everywhere. So I can't really wear this to work because I work in a restaurant. But yeah, you know, we have, we have a 4.9, so I don't want it to go down to like a 3.9. So I'm gonna, not gonna wear it to work. I don't want hair to fall onto the food. The lining. God, I hate the lining. The 100% cotton lining, it's so, so bad. They did the Cupro on the sleeve. Why couldn't they do that on the main body? That just could have been better. And you might not see it, but when I put it on, I touch it and I see it every time I take it on and take it off. So it just, it's so in your face and it's so bad. Why? Like, I'm honestly considering to go into my tail and just like, hey, can you put like a Cupro lining over this? And then when I do sell it, or if I do sell it, I'll just tell them, dude, I made this jacket better. I add Cupro lining for you. You're welcome. I should charge you like an extra $50, but I won't. Cupro or polyester, any other material than 100% cotton, it's so much better. It looks and feels so cheap. Oh my God. Do not use 100% cotton lining. It feels and looks so cheap. If you want your jackets, if you want your garments to look more expensive, Cupro, polyester, silk, um, acetate, whatever, anything. Anything is better than 100% cotton. Yeah. Uh, that was very passionate. <laughs> but we'll end this video here. And um, 
I do like the jacket. I don't love, love it, but I do like it. It's a nice jacket. It fits me very well. I love the material, the cow fur. Can't get over the cow fur. The lamb lining, trimming, I'm sorry. The lamb trimming, so good. Everything about this jacket is so good. The only flaw is that you can't really see the cow fur material on this. That, that's truly the only flaw. Well, and the line. I, I listed out the pros and cons already. You know what I mean, but yeah, when I saw this jacket on sale, I was like, it's kind of a win-win. I can get it, wear it. If I don't like it, I can sell it, make a profit. But if I can't sell it, it's still a great piece to have in my closet. So it was kind of like a no-brainer. So I got it. But yeah, I know reselling is kind of frowned upon in the fashion community, but it's a side hustle for me. But you know, other a lot of people have turned this into like a full-time job. What's that guy on Instagram? Uh, Constant practice. They, those people do it full time, you know, Silver League, obviously. What's that guy named from New York? H Horror Vecchio. You, you know, you know, these reseller, they turn it into a full time job. If I could do that, that's great, you know, but right now, just a high, so right now, it's just a side hustle. I understand that it's frowned upon, but I can't really please everybody with all of your actions, you know. You could save a turtle, and some people would be like, why did you save that turtle? You're interfering with the natural life cycle but i save a turtle but you can't please everybody that's my point but yeah beautiful jacket tell me what you think i would love to hear your opinion i mean not really but it's just kind of the thing that you have to say for engagement i'm not going to read your comment <laughs> my name is makasi i will talk to you next week leave a comment below <laughs> i'll read it okay i'll read it on this one and i'll respond to every comment but most of the time I don't. Okay, bye-bye.